And hello everybody and welcome to another wee video. Uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to compare my test equipment and we're going to do a wee bit of uh, fuel tank, fuel pump, low side pressure testing and pressure comparisons. So I have at the minute hooked up the traditional analog gauge and it's hooked up to the incoming line from the fuel tank into that fuel filter housing there. So this is your normal Volkswagen TDI engine. This particular one is a CFJA engine and it's a fairly high output engine. Uh, so it has an additional, additional pump there uh, in there which boosts up the uh, fuel pressure before it goes into the high pressure pump which is uh, driven by the cam belt. So I have a uh, a T, a T the, the analog gauge teed in to the fuel incoming line so, and uh, so the, the flow line um, just a, a wee thing to note might be useful for people on these Volkswagens they very kindly mark the flow in their turn on these pipes now sometimes it's it's scraped off a wee bit and you can't really see it or it's dirty or something but the flow is always marked with a white and there's a bit of an arrow on it and then the return is a blue, it's a blue marker. And if you can't see it, if it's worn off or whatever, if you follow it back there, uh, if you follow it back there, you can see it goes on to a blue pipe or a blue connector. You can just about see it in there, there we go. That's a, a blue circlet, but that goes on to a, a, blue, a blue connector. So that would be our return. The way I remember it, the blue is like your arteries, which is the, re the return of flow of blood in your body. So what we'll have as well is we'll have our battery maintainer, that's a wee fan you can hear in the background. The battery maintainer is throwing out 8 amps. So that's keeping it at 13.5 volts for us while we're doing this, mucking about. But it's also going to, it's all going, also going to test us, uh, give us a wee idea of a current draw as well, without uh, having to hook up any clamps or anything. So the specs. <clears throat> on these two low pressure pumps are half a bar half a bar there and 3.5 bars so that's what we're expecting to see as I say this car is a known good this car is nothing wrong with this runs well goes great uh, guy brings it in regularly services it but it's worthwhile we're checking our test equipment and we're seeing if those specs uh, meet up and we're going to compare the analog to the pressure transducers that we're going to see on the on the Pico. So the wee Pico 2000, I've customized it uh, for pressure transducers. So we're going to go into uh, the hotel here. No, we'll come out of that. That's not what I wanted to do. We're going to go into the hotel control unit, engine control module. Okay, active test, and there's our two fuel pumps, electric fuel pump relay and auxiliary fuel pump relay. So that's the two fuel pumps. So what we're going to do is we're going to run this by our axle, we'll hit start, and what it's going to do, it's going to pulse it here. So just about here. And it's just shy of 10 PSI, half a bar. So the black uh, number there, number one, that's the bar. And then the 10 is the PSI. So it looks pretty good. And we'll just look at a current draw. So it's jumped up from eight. That's it pulsing. So from eight and a half to nearly 12. Okay. so. That uh, was it. Was within spec, okay? So we'll hook up our Pico and see if uh, see if that matches. So we'll just come out of that. Okay, so we've connected this hundred psi pressure transducer there uh, in line 
from the the end tank pump there so it's just uh, coming in before it comes to the filter we've disconnected our analog gauge and what we'll have the wire comes from the pressure transducer that's the signal coming from the pressure transducer and the power supply for the transducer so I've made it up into this wee box just so that it fits in the box of tricks uh, okay I've put a wee switch in the side of it there and we'll have a look inside it's quite simple uh, made this up myself there as I like to do and that's one of our wee DC converters to provide our 5 volts I'm running it off this PPC battery and do a wee switch inside so we'll just put that back on again to keep it we've got our all tail ready to go on the uh, pump relay and here's our wee Pico so as I said earlier on I've customized this Pico uh, so let me see if I go into uh, if I go into there and select my probes so that's the normal uh, list of probes that is in the software so if I go down to the library there I've programmed in this 100 PSI pressure transducer and I have various ranges there I can go up to minus 40 to 60 to 80 to 100 and all that does is change the, the scale here so we're gonna because this is a low pressure I'm expecting this to be only oh I turned it off I'm expecting this to be a low pressure uh, very very low pressure we saw it on the gauge it was reading about 10 psi so we'll have a wee look see and see with this see how see if there's any accuracy with this see if this uh, sort of these sort of figures are usable so let me see we're running at the minute no trigger whatsoever so we're going to uh, run the pump so that's it on the hotel there and I'll bring a time base down again I think So I put a wee, a wee measuring line there, a wee dashed line, and that's it, 8.5 psi there, and it's gone up to about that 8.5, that's just, I just put that there so I could read the scale here, so that's it there, 8.566, and just drag that down, it's just so you can read the scale uh, on the left, okay. So we've now teed in our analog gauge again, but this time it's into uh, the flow from the auxiliary pump that's in the engine bay. So that's where it comes out off the auxiliary pump and goes into our uh, common rail high pressure pump. So now we've got the analog gauge set up. We've have auxiliary fuel pump relay selected on the hotel and we're just going to keep a wee, a pa, a wee, a wee pan on this uh, current here so we'll give it a wee run and see what happens so head start and we're going to hear it we're going to hear it run it's not leaking, it's a slightly bigger bore on this pipe so I had to put uh, an additional clip on from a wee T-piece let me see. And um, we're getting to about three and a half bar, just over 50 PSI, which is perfect within specs there. And we'll keep away on our current here. That's it. It's pulsing now, it's not running constantly. So it's going from eight and a half amps and it's jumping up to what's that about 13 amps there? Yeah, so 
This wee battery maintainer, uh, 25 amps, it can put out, so I just have to keep an eye on that, that I don't go over it. So, yeah, we're running away nicely there. So, okay, we'll uh, change our T pieces here, and we'll put it on the Pico. So if I re pressure transducer in line with the auxiliary fuel pump, just before it goes into the, the high pressure pump there, as you can see, and we have our scales. I've just put a wee ruler there at 58, roughly from uh, what I'm expecting to see from the analog gauge. And that's it, uh, reading down there, that blue line is the actual. So we're gonna give it a wee start here. Uh, I'll just get you back on it again. So this is gonna pulse it and it's gonna build the pressure way, way up. So we'll just see, we'll just pulse it a couple of times here and uh, see how it goes. So there we go, right, just done it a couple of times there. It's getting up to that 58 mark. But uh, what we can also do, and there's a bit of pressure there, still there. I'll leak back, gradually depleting down the zero. But what we're, gonna, what we're gonna also do here is, without the bi-directional controls, we'll just, uh, I've taken the wee battery maintainer off, so I'll just start the car. Okay, that's the car started. So that's the, the car now running, and we can see here, there's the wee ruler at that's the focus, 58.6 PSI, 58.26. Okay, so that's that. That's that run on the transducer in it. So, just stop the car there. Uh, I'll just uh, give you an idea of how how I set these uh, these scales in the, in the Pico 2000. So, what I have done is, uh, if you go into uh, the normal software, you'll get. You get all, all that sort of stuff that's already uh, programmed in, built in, there it says. So in the library here, I've, I've set up an attenuator, 600 amp current clamp, 100, 300, and 500 pressure transducer. So where I got this information from is a guy called Ramon and KY Home, Home Garage, Kentucky Home Garage, does a video and takes you through how to set all these here, all these different ranges. There's different, there's uh, parameters you need to put in for uh, the pressure, tra the transducer measuring the voltage. So what it's doing is the transducer is, is works between 0.5 volts and four and a half volts. So there's, uh, I'll just, I'll just maybe uh, show you it here. If I go into that, no. If we go, yeah, that one there. And look, I can show you, there's that 100 PSI. And I'll go into edit. Now, I've already programmed in, of course, but uh, if you go into that, you, go into, you would go in the new probe and it does this setup here. So I'm calling it, you type that in yourself, just what, whatever you want to call it and those are the, are the numbers you need to know. Some, somebody's worked out these numbers, these gra the gradient for the y-axis and, and uh, the offset. So those are crucial for this to have any sort of accuracy at all. And uh, I got those numbers from KY Home Garage. So you can check his channel out. And uh, he did a video a while ago. So you need to, you need to go through his channel pages and uh, he'll take you through it step by step uh, spends a bit of time and is very good for doing that for us so that we can use these uh, these wee pressure transducers so just to, just to close off 
those wee transducers there, you can buy them on eBay, they're about a tenner each, 100, 200, 300, 500, whatever size you want. That's, that's a wee adapter uh, that you can get. They are used for guys that uh, build rally cars and stuff where they're wanting to put all sorts of cages in and the, the transducer screws into that. Uh, the wee box there, that's just a wee home hobby box that was uh, like a fiver or something. Uh, as I said earlier about our uh, 12 volt to 5 volt converter, bit of uh, fee core wire there and I have it, I'll just show you there, I have that, that's a BNC cable which you can buy a couple of quid, strip it, uh, put a few wee eyelets on it for under the signal. I just did that so it fits in the box and you can set it up dead quick. And that, that is that, that wire there with a BNC connector on it. Into the wee Pico 2000. So you make that for about uh, a tenner and a couple of bits of pieces, a couple of bananas, a couple of these wee, uh, these wee jack ports. And as I say, I have a, about a two meter wire on it. And you can buy that wee adapter there. I think that was six or seven pounds. So that's that set up there uh, for what 20 or 30 quid and uh, spend a wee bit of time check out Ramon's video that's where I got that that's where I got so I knew how to put the scales in looks to be pretty accurate uh, whoever worked those numbers out uh, did a great job so anyway many thanks for watching and that's another wee video uh, hope that inspires somebody gives somebody a bit of inspiration and uh, this you can do a awful lot of stuff with uh, with cheap tools and you make it up yourself uh, and so many thanks for watching all the best and bye bye